We as human beings have a tendency to assume. Our brains are always looking to be one step ahead. Because of that, we start to think we know what someone's thinking or where they're going. This show breaks that convention and will help us to come back to the present and wait for the answer. Who's feeling lucky? The idea for the series started from a structural place. Action. I thought with batch delivery, you're getting everything at once. There's no reason, conceptually, why you should have to watch them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You're gonna see a different order than I'm gonna see, than my mother's gonna see, than my wife is gonna see. This is the most secure vault maybe in the world. I loved how unusual it was. And my first thought was, well, that's a great gimmick. Thank God it is also really well written. There is no one that can get inside this fault unless I want them to. It's based on a potentially real story. After Hurricane Sandy, $70 billion in unregistered bearer bonds were flooded and lost. My first thought upon reading all these things was, oh, someone made off with $70 billion and is using Hurricane Sandy as like a really good excuse. This is Bob Goodwin, his wife Judy Goodwin, Ava Mercer, Stan Loomis, RJ Acosta, and Leo Papp, the mastermind of the operation. Leo is a master thief, master criminal. He wants to strike into that vault for his team, but for him it's it's never been about money, it's been about revenge. We crack the safes, extract the bonds, and no one's the wiser. This show is about justice. We need to find a way inside this team. It's about the limit between good and bad. I can outfit the entire crew. Wow. Every episode had multiple connections to every other episode. So if you really fan them out, you can make connections this way, and connections this way, and connections this way. This is where it gets tricky. Oh. This is where it gets tricky. And then you'll just want to go back and watch it again and again and again because there's so many things that you realize that you have missed. Who eats spaghetti with chopsticks? Like a billion people. Everyone gets to go through a different journey through the show. And I'm also excited to see if they can put it all together before they get to the end. It was a big challenge for the filmmakers. There's no such thing as an unbeatable vault. But also, it's a big challenge for the audience. I hope they take the risk. We want to see something cool. People are not linear. We contain multitudes. We all have these different parts, and at different times in our lives, we put different things forward. There's something about this structure that can speak to that. It can speak to character in that way. Loyalty is worthless. All it comes down to is you versus the people who want what you have. We're doing this. And you manipulate them better than they manipulate you.